two 3D printed ZRD1 chassis. One of them I built for myself, and the other one I built for my kid. The one that I built myself is 3S battery powered, and it's operated with a Flysky Noble MB4 Plus. Do mine. And then my kids is run on a 2S battery, and I got the Dumbo RC 6 channel. I was thinking that Dumbo RC would be a good option because it has the ability to change the gyro. I'll show you in just a moment. But it has the ability to adjust the gyro on either channel five or six, whichever one you'd like, because they are dial channels. However, I would say that this is more suitable for crawling than drifting. The response time just isn't that great. So I'm gonna have to find another, a better, cheaper option than this. However, the response time in operating these drift cars with the Flysky Noble MV4 Plus is phenomenal. The response time is just absolutely perfect. All right, you guys want to get into some of the nitty gritty? Let me go ahead and take a cut here. All right, let me go into a little bit more detail on these. Start with mine. It's got the 3500 kV non-censored motor. Same one as the 2S. It, except for this one's paired with the proper ESC. The ESC motor is a combo unit. This ESC is kind of like a mystery ESC that I got for Amazon for 18 bucks. You can get it for cheaper on AliExpress. It's the same exact one. I already bought a couple and they're pretty good. The receiver for the Dumbo RC stuff is fairly large. It has a gyro built in and this gyro is awful for drifting. Do not recommend it. I ended up putting on the GT55 some or other V5 gyro, and that works pretty good. Definitely better than the onboard Dumbo RC gyro. And I believe it's the same gyro that's on this GT55 board as well. We're gonna do a test drive between these two, but for a fair comparison, I actually have a 3S battery that has a dead cell, so it runs like a 2S, so we can also run it. The 3S has a 2S, and then we can get a good comparison on how each one of them run. Just for comparison, here is the 2S battery voltage. I'm going to start out driving on the 3S battery. Got the gyro set at 69. Very ideal driving. You can place this thing in wherever you want. And okay, now we're on the 2S battery. As you can see, we're still in the same exact gyro settings. You can see a little bit less power, you can feel it for sure. Still slides really nice. I had this on 2S initially before I just switched the leads. This ESC is pretty good, it just keeps up the 2S or the 3S battery, it doesn't matter what it is. You'll notice right away that the power response is different in the trigger. This is the Dental RC one. Uh, I tried to set it somewhere around the same, I can't really tell you an exact percentage, that's one of the things I don't like about it. I do really like that it has a 3-way channel 4 switch, this is going to be really good for the quality. And also for trailing, that is going to be sick. But, let's give this a roll. Spins out a lot as well. A lot easier to spin out of this guy. I swear I'm trying to drive it the exact same. I'm gonna have to just learn how to drive it differently since it has different electronics. Get the point. Hi, Molly. 